willing to even suffer through some short-term pain in order to get that long-term gain because that's what we have to get. And I gotta tell you, I meet with companies all the time. There is more interest in Mexico and Central America today than I've, I've ever seen. And I think that has to be harnessed because that all of that will go to waste if we don't do what I'm suggesting. And that is that fundamental change from the bottom up. And if the people are willing, if people across the region are willing to make those reforms, are willing to make take those tough decisions, I'll tell you one thing. President of the United States, Vice President of the United States, Secretary of State, Secretary of Energy, we are all going to be there to support that process. But we got to be able to do it together. So over the next few months, we're going to be working together with our colleagues in Mexico and with our colleagues across Central America in order to come up with recommendations and an action plan to move forward, to take advantage of the revolution that's happening in the United States, the abundance of gas, natural gas, the investment opportunities in renewable energy and new technologies, the strengthening of the trading market in the region. If we're able to get all that done, I, I firmly believe that we are gonna be able to be enormously successful in revitalizing the economy of the region and create more prosperity and act as a region and not a collection of single country markets in the very near future. Thank you again. Fabulous. I, I don't think I've ever seen two presentations that put it better together. So thank you so much for that. Um, we have